Hi y'all, good morning. I am here at Carolina Motorsports Park. We are going to be, well, I'm gonna be shooting photography today. I'm here with CLT Speed. If you don't know who they are, you should look them up. They do track days for the guys in Charlotte. We do CMP four times a year and VIR twice a year. So we've got all sorts of cool cars that come out to this thing and uh, I'm super excited to shoot it every single time. Let me show you what I'm rocking. All right, so today I brought my uh, standard camera which is my canon t8i and i'm rocking my track lens which is the 70 to 200 um and i've got a hood on it i've got a cpl i have some nd filters for it but it's kind of cloudy today and it's supposed to be kind of cloudy so i don't think i'll have to use those um, i also brought my 18 to 135 this is my standard lens that i use for kind of everything i might use it for like some pit stuff but i anticipate i'll use the 70 to 200 for most of the day um and then i also bring Usually I bring my, my 50 millimeter, just because it's handy to have, it's small to carry, it's not a burden, so I just bring it, uh, just in case I ever need it. Um, this is all my filters, which again, I don't think I'll need any of those. Um, I usually bring some spare memory cards, but I didn't today, just because I have a 256 in here, and it's my uh, the one I use for track days, so I don't think I'll be needing it. Um, Standard uh, gear review of always bring some water on the track always bring a charger for my camera batteries Even though there's probably nowhere to charge around here um, I always bring backup batteries four of them I have five in total ones in the camera fours in the bag and then I have all my rain gear This is gear for my camera and lens specifically So if it starts to rain while I'm out on track I can pull this out put it on my stuff and protect my equipment this is rain gear for this backpack, which I will be wearing on my back all day. And then I have a dust mask. So I always make sure I'm prepared. I always make sure I'm foreseeing the circumstances. I pack my bag differently depending on which event I'm going to, but uh, that's the gear rundown for today. All right, we're here at uh, what will be my first spot. I don't know how well you can see it, but that is the, that's the final corner before the straightaway to the uh, start finish line. So I'm hoping there's some good speed coming out of the corner. I expect there will be. And uh, that'll be the first place I'm shooting down range at. Of course, with my 70 to 200, I can get all the way up in there, which is great. This track doesn't have nearly as much space as VIR. Uh, not only as far as the track is concerned, but as far as walking the track is concerned. Um, so whereas VIR, I had about two square miles of infield space, uh, the infield here technically isn't an infield because it's outside of the track. Um, and so the pits and everything, it's, it's only like maybe half a mile of space um, compared to the two square miles of space at VIR. So it's a lot less space to work with. And at VIR, I had a photo pass, but here, it's kind of backwoodsy enough. They don't even have a photo pass system here. Uh, so, because professional photographers, to my knowledge, don't come here to shoot like high profile races because they don't have too many high profile races out here. Um, so they don't really have a photo pass system. So I couldn't get one because they don't have one, right? But anyways, I just took some uh, pictures in the pits and I'll put those up on the screen now. just was able to capture those uh, you know with the good morning sunlight and there's actually another car coming in another few cars coming in I'm gonna have to go shoot um, I don't have to but you know I think I want to uh, it's currently 10 till which means they're having the drivers meeting right now uh, and they'll be on the track in the, the next 10 minutes or so uh, it looks it, it, there's still wet spots it was raining all last night it's supposed to rain again later later on today currently though it's sunny and not cloudy i was kind of hoping for some cloud cover um, but it's not cloudy which is all right um and then yeah they'll get on the track and i'll i i don't know how much filming i'll do of them on the track just because i'll be taking pictures obviously but you know we'll see
Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, I think I'm gonna put some more pictures up on the screen for you. I'm not getting to film a whole lot just because it's, uh, well, I'm doing my job, right? I'm taking pictures, so I don't have a whole lot of time to film while I'm doing that. I'm pretty much uh, taking pictures every session. Sometimes I alternate sessions. What they do is they have a uh, an, an advanced session. It's about half hour long, and then they have a beginner session, which is half hour long, and they just alternate on and off, advanced and beginner. And a lot of the beginner guys aren't even beginners, right? They're just not advanced. Um, but then the advanced guys are like actual race car drivers. So um, it's it's a mix, but I have a lot of guys that cover in both groups, so I don't get a whole lot of free time to actually film anything. Um, and there's not really any places here to like put the camera down because unlike at VIR, I'm not right on the track. Uh, like I mentioned before, they don't have media passes here, so the closest you can get is as close as like a spectator could get, and it's not that close to the track, which is why it's great that I have the 70 to 200. That's a lifesaver here, but um, it just means that there's no good vantage points. If I put this video camera down on the ground somewhere, there wouldn't be a good vantage point to, to film from. So, <clears throat> but anyways, it's a little bit quiet right now. It's uh, lunchtime. And uh, after lunch, it'll probably be quiet still for just a little bit as people kind of let their food settle before they go out and throw themselves into multiple G's in the corners, uh, which is smart. But so we'll uh, we'll continue racing here in a, probably another half hour or so. And uh, and then there's only about three hours left until uh, the end of the event. Uh, luckily for us, uh, we are blessed with great weather. It was supposed to rain today around 2, but it is currently about 1, and there's not a cloud in the sky. Well, there's a few clouds, but they're not they're not angry-looking clouds. They're just normal-looking clouds. Um, weather says that there's no rain till 7 now, so that's absolutely fantastic. That's what we want to hear. Uh, the track is all dried out. It was a little bit damp this morning. I got, I got a few spins. Um, on camera, on uh, pictures, I took pictures of people facing the wrong direction after they spun, but no damage to any vehicles and everyone's all right. So. watching this video y'all I appreciate your uh, support on my channel I am now uploading twice a week um, which I feel like I don't have enough subscribers to actually officially like announce that but you'll notice I'm, I'm now putting up twice a week videos so uh, hopefully that grows the channel and hopefully you enjoy the content <laughs> 